The firing of Don Imus for his remarks about the Rutgers women's basketball team touched off a national discussion about the power of words. Well, few Americans we know have a greater mastery of words than Maya Angelou, the distinguished poet, playwright, and essayist. She read a poem at the inauguration of President Clinton in 1993, and she spoke last year at the funeral of Coretta Scott King. Maya Angelou joins us this evening from her home in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Dr. Angelou, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good evening, Russell Mitchell. As, as someone who has used words to inspire so many of us, what was your reaction when you heard the words that Don Imus used this week? I was really sorry. I was sorry for him. I was sorry for myself and even sorry for my great-granddaughter and sorry for all women and sorry for all Americans because this is just an evidence of a blight which has taken root in our souls and in our mouths. And uh, I just felt really brought down. Did the fact that these words came from a 66-year-old white man make them more stinging than if they were to come from a black person? Well, not maybe more stinging, but stinging still. All comparisons are odious. Vulgarity is vulgarity. And um, the vulgarity of, that comes out of a black mouth or a white mouth or an Asian mouth it's still vulgarity. Russell Simmons, the, the music and fashion mogul, has also the head of the Hip Hop Summit Action Network, has said, comparing Don Imus's language with hip hop artists, artistic expression is misguided and inaccurate. Do you agree with that? No, I certainly do not. It is all the same. All vulgarity is vulgarity. And, and if you mean to demean a person, to make her or him less than whole, Anybody could say it. You could say it from a robot. And it means that this person is not worthy of my concern. But at last we're going to have a dialogue. I'm telling you, mm. Nelly, P. Diddy, Snoop Dogg, all of those men who are very intelligent for the first time, and I'm, I include Dave Chappelle, for the first time we are going to sit down and see yeah, how have we come so late and lonely to this place? I would a ask the hip hoppers, if you wanted to say something and see how powerful you are, use Miss Laura Bush and call her one of those B words and see how long you will live. There wouldn't be enough rope to hang your butts. No, so, but, so, but black women, because we are last on the totem pole, everybody, has a chance to take a chance on us. Well, not now. Realistically, what do you think will come out of this debate? We have a magnificent chance, and a chance for white women and white men to say to black men and black women, let's talk. Let's just talk, human to human. Let's, maybe, you know, I might like you, actually. Mm. And you might like me, actually. <laughs> I, or I might not, but I, I will certainly treat you fairly. Dr. Maya Angelou, thank you so much. We appreciate thank it. Thank you, Mr. Russell Mitchell. Thank you, know, you very you, much. You know, my mother used to call me Russell Mitchell when she was mad at me. You're not mad at me, are you? <laughs> I'm not. Okay. And, but I, I'm a Southerner, <laughs> and I do call people by their whole names. Well, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. You take care. Thank you very much.